are you okay? <laughs> Hello? Amara? Oh my god. It was positive. <laughs> what do I do? Not over the phone. Let's meet at Loretta's. to do. He could give you money and you could... He does not give a fuck. He would never give me money. He told me to have this. You never know. Maybe his family could help. Tumula, no, they wouldn't. Because he does not care and he does not have to. It was on me to have this baby. It was on me to take care of it. And no one cares. Okay, so no Brandon. What if you go for adoption? Hundreds and thousands of kids go for adoption every year. And we don't even... We don't even know where half of them go. You're right. have a support system. Your parents would help you, your co-workers, me. You can do this. I have a shit job, a shit apartment. My parents live all the way across the country and I didn't even want Brandon to. Just don't want to be back. Don't have a lot of options here, Mara. Like, what? Gonna go to the juniper collected? Mara. No. They're criminals. But is it a crime to break an unjust law? Like you said I don't have a lot of options. How are you even going to find them? FRB News keeps tabs on everything that they do. You would get caught. Well, it's a good thing that I work for FRB. Tell me a story, Amara. I know, I know, Mr. Ribbon. Um, actually, about that. I was thinking, um, I could run a story by you. Better be good. I, I was thinking about writing, um, about the Juniper Collective, sir. Those anarchists? Why would you want to do that? Well, because, have you ever heard about anyone being able to write about them from the inside? Interesting. And how do you suppose you'll get a hold of them? I don't know, I was thinking maybe, you know, you had a few connections or someone that you knew who worked with them. Interesting. I might know someone. Why don't I get back to you? Right. Thank you very much, sir. Another batch of junipers has been apprehended by watchers to be shipped to Camp 14 for indefinite detainment. When will they learn that the murder of infants will not be tolerated? Hey. Hey. 
So I called Mr. Urban, asked him about the collective. You did what? No, it's fine. I told him I'd go undercover and then I'd write about them. And he bought it? I think so. Amara, this is unbelievably stupid. What if he calls the Watchers? What's well, a risk I'm willing to take? Amara, are you joking? Do you know what they'll do to you? Of course I do, Camilla. Did you think I didn't think this through? As a matter of fact, yes, it seems that way. Listen, I'm gonna do it. I have no other choice, remember? I could really use your support in this. Honey, I love you, but I can't talk to you about this. I have a family to worry about. Camilla, I need you. Amara, I can't support this decision. You have so many other options, but you choose to seek out criminals instead. Even become one? You don't understand. This is my life on the line here. It's the baby's life, too. And mine, if I support you through this. You're being a coward. And you're being selfish. I'm sorry, I can't. with the Juniper Collective. Yes. It's okay. You can talk to me. I do want to get in contact with the Juniper Collective. I can help you with that. I just didn't think you'd be a man. <laughs> then why is that? So what's your story? In my contact already gave you my information. If you want to get in, you're going to have to tell me something. Yeah, but I assumed it would be anonymous. Mm, sorry. Can't let just anyone in. Oh my god. You're not going anywhere. Lara? Honey, hi! I've been looking for you. I thought we were going to meet for coffee. Where have you been? Oh, so we'll sorry. just go for coffee now. Come on. Oh my god, thank you so much. Be so you more careful. You're lucky we have eyes on the watchers. Take this. Thank you so much. Guys, your next period. I don't know what to do. We have. We downloaded. Next.
track your period like you're still regular. Expect the call. Don't follow. Hello? Hi. We leave tonight. I'm sending you the address. Come at 11 p.m. Be ready to be away for three days. Don't tell anyone where you're going. Expecting someone else? I'm very interested to see who they are. We've been looking for them for a while. Such a shame, really. Preying on vulnerable women like yourself and telling them to throw away their chance at motherhood. You don't really want to be here, do you? Killing a child? You're wrong. I chose to come here, and I choose what I get to do with my life. Here's the issue with you abortionists. You think you can just run around and take a life before it's even begun. You think you can play God, deciding who lives and who dies. If a man gives you a child, it is your duty to nurture that life. That is your purpose on this planet. Who are you to? Juniper! Death everywhere you go! Wait, no. Isn't there something else we could do? They come for me in the morning, they will come for you in the night. Sure. What's one more life to an abortionist? One more woman that's free. how you handle things? It's self-defense, Amara. It's liberation. For some junipers, it's survival. Which is it for you? We have to go. Now. I'm sorry. Bagger.
Amara? Amara. Did you drug me? Well, we don't want people finding our facility here. It's safer for you this way. But what about the man? Don't worry about it. We took care of him. You killed him? You shot him in the head and then you drugged me? Is what they say about you true? Didn't you know what you were getting into? I mean, I didn't know anybody was going to die. I didn't know you were going to keep me here like a prisoner. Don't you know what he was planning on doing to you? What he and his kind have done to other girls just like you? I heard stories, but... The rumors aren't true. The reality is much, much worse. Amara, this is a war for liberation, for survival. You have no idea some of the things I've seen, what the government forces women into. When you're fighting against injustice, you have to fight with everything you have. I just didn't want this burden. But I also didn't want anyone to get hurt. Let me show you something. What do you know about the Juniper Collective? I mean, I know you guys do abortions, but everyone, mostly FRB, says you guys have been responsible for the bombings across the country. That's okay. FRB News has really done a number on us. What we do is set women free. Jan. Age 35, ectopic pregnancy. She would have died if she had kept that baby. Tyler, age 25. They would have gotten killed if the government had found out that they were assigned female at birth. Robin, 21. She was in a happy long-term relationship and she found out she was pregnant. She was happy about it first, but then she realized that she couldn't financially support a baby. And she was able to just, you know, have an abortion just like that? Yes, that's what we believe in. We believe that women should have the choice to do what they want with their body. I just, I don't know we could do that. We can, and we have. For 40 years, we've been fighting for this. What are those? Those are the ones the Watchers got to before we did. You could have ended up in that pile. And how many women were there? More than you would think. But enough of that. Let's get down to why you're here. You want to terminate your pregnancy? But I just don't know if I can. I mean, I'm not asking to justify your position. I'm just wondering what you want. Yes, I'd like to terminate my pregnancy. Okay. Usually we have a stricter protocol for this, but but I feel like I owe you a personal touch. You know, after bagging you and all. This is Mythopistone. You take one, 
and it blocks the progesterone hormone that is needed for the pregnancy to continue. We do it out here in international waters to avoid screening. We're in international waters? Oh, yes. Sorry about that. I know this can be disorienting, but I promise you're safe and we will get you home in one piece. All I have to do is just, just take this? That's it. No, it's that easy. Would anyone be able to tell? In two hours, it'll be like nothing ever happened. Now you see what we're fighting for. Great, well, that's it. Feel free to go get some rest, and I will come get you when it's time to go home again. We might have to Actually... Yeah? Or... The, what about the watchers? I... I thought we cleared that up. We do what we have to do. No, I mean... Aren't they still looking for me? No, usually they work alone, so you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, but I think it's my boss who may have sent it after me. I think he knows I'm trying to get an abortion. How could he possibly know that? He's the editor-in-chief at FRB, and I might have asked him to get in contact with you. You told the editor-in-chief at FRB News that you were getting an abortion? Not exactly, but... I work for them and I said maybe if I go undercover and told them that I was trying to figure you guys out about what you do, then maybe I could actually get some help. Okay, okay. It's okay. We can, we can handle this. This might be a little harder. We can try to place you somewhere else, help you move without getting detected. But your boss and your loved ones might wonder where you are. What if I just joined? You want to join the Juniper Collective? I have nothing else, really. I mean, I have a shit job, and my best friend's not even my best friend anymore. Let alone my boss tried to kill me. This is my chance to do some actual good. To help people who genuinely need it. Why else would you show me those files if you weren't trying to convince me to join? Remember, when you're fighting against an injustice, you have to fight with everything you have, right? Amara, this isn't an easy life. We're constantly on the move. It's not comfortable, it's not glamorous. And it sure as hell isn't safe. Are you sure you wanna come into this? I've never been more sure of anything in my entire life. Who am I to turn down a new member? You can go get some rest and we'll start onboarding you tomorrow. Wait, oh, I never got your name. Uh, we don't, we don't do names here, but you can call me Cypress. Welcome to Juniper Collective. <laughs>